Tonight, in the final in our series from Sir Edmund Hillary's trip to the Himalayas, Mark Sainsbury looks at the Sherpas, the people Hillary befriended in Nepal and have caused him to return year after year. When Sherpa Tenzing Norgay joined Hillary on the summit of Everest in 1953, the name Sherpa was etched into the history books. But there's more to the Sherpa people than just their fabled abilities in the mountains. Sherpas. To us, the term almost automatically implies porters, the carriers who hauled enormous loads around the Himalayas and have enabled others, usually Europeans, to conserve their strength for the climbing. Heavy? Yeah. Is it? <laughs> All my clothes. <laughs> There's no denying the Sherpas do have amazing strength. In fact, it's downright embarrassing to be trekking the Himalayas unburdened by a pack or a tripod, trying to negotiate the paths, then to be passed by a 14-year-old in jandals, not only carrying your pack, but a couple of others as well. It's an income earner for the Sherpas and a hangover well, I mean, uh, from those early uh, days. Originally, uh, in 1950s and 60s, when uh, the first expeditions and first, you know, European or Western expeditions and, you know, climbers have come in Nepal, I think the first people they have used for pottering and climbing were the Sherpas. <laughs> they have never used other, you know, other ethnic groups of Nepal. Because none of these ethnic groups have ideas and even they have, they have got the physical capabilities of going in the mountains. The Sherpas came here 500 years ago from Tibet. Essentially, they're traders and the Yat trains still ply their way through the Himalayas back and forth into Tibet. They also brought their religion from Tibet. While Nepal is officially a Hindu country, the Sherpas follow Buddha. I think religion is very, very important for the, for the Sherpa people. Religion is a part of the Sherpa culture also. Uh, because, um, you know, I mean, uh, religion teaches uh, not only the Sherpas, but people how to, uh, you know, be honest. Many qualities come from the religion practice. And Sherpas are Buddhist? Yes. Yeah. All the Buddhists. Uh, all uh, Sherpa Buddhists. We ne never kill uh, thing, yak, everything. For this chicken, uh, yeah, uh, we chicken buy. Chicken killed this other people, right people, they people kill, we no kill. Uh, <laughs> the cultural centre then for the Sherpas is the Tingbo She Monastery, currently being rebuilt with New Zealand help. The blocks have all been hand carved from stone and an entire joinery factory has been set up to complete the project. Head of the monastery is a man the Sherpas believe has been reincarnated 14 times. The Runpoche, perhaps with the hindsight of generations, realises the threats that exist at the moment. Yeah, the Sherpa culture is so important, very essential for the Sherpas, uh, Sherpas' identity. And if uh, there is no culture, if people don't, uh, you know, maintain and uh, the culture, uh, I think the Sherpas will lose their identity of Sherpas, where they come from and what they are. So he thinks, uh, you know, it's very important to, uh, to uh, you know, maintain, uh, maintain the Sherpa culture. New Zealand's influence in preserving the Sherpas' culture extends beyond the maintenance of the monasteries. Although education has opened up opportunities for the Sherpas away from their traditional homes, it has also reinforced some of their traditions. They have a sense of responsibility. Uh, for their community, uh, which they've had for uh, since time immemorial, really. And I, I think this is very good. They haven't lost their uh, contact uh, with their community uh, and uh, with their beliefs, or indeed with their religions. Some things for them can never change. The environment means they must adapt. The tourists have burnt up most of the forests, the fires and showers. So building must utilise the local stone, which is miraculously fashioned into homes. But even as they struggle in relatively harsh conditions, preserving their identity is paramount. And here too, They've learnt lessons from their friends. The New Zealand Kiwis, uh, the Maoris, I'm sorry, the Maoris in New Zealand, you know, we haven't met them, but we, we learned that 
they have uh, lost all of their cultures and have been now very difficult to dig out their cultures. So um, I think people living in, uh, in the Kumbu areas, uh, there's no much threat, but uh, we are a little bit worried that the Sherpas who are migrating to other areas and uh, living with other ethnic groups, uh, there is a little bit of uh, worries among the Sherpas, uh, you know, about the Sherpa culture. But when it comes to New Zealanders who have influenced the Sherpas, there's no competition. The name Hillary and New Zealand are synonymous. And the Bara Saab too is a part of Sherpa culture they fear losing. This Bara Saab all going now. Otherwise, all the time we very uh, good. All the time. Are you worried? that he's getting old? Yeah, me worry, very worry. Me also all going, all going, uh, very uh, worry me. It seems Sered is a hero in both our cultures, although that's a concept he doesn't agree with. No, I certainly don't. I think I'm a person of, of very uh, modest abilities um, I think I have quite a lot of motivation and in, in things that I uh, undertake, but I don't regard myself as a hero at all. <clears throat> I'm petrified most of the time. 